Hi guys, it's Anne Crafty Kimchi. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with an In Love Art Project Share and I'm super excited to show you what I put together. So let's go over the dies first. So all over Instagram, everyone has just been doing so much with building flowers, their own flowers. And I wanted a set for myself and I love this die set so much. And they really do create the most cutest little flowers and I can't wait to show you um, how I put these together. Now this one is a real fun one. Oh, I have one of the dies here and it is a layering flower i love the ones any like sets that come with a shadow so you have these three that are just a built-in and then the single one if you wanted to do a, a loose flower and then the layering leaf which is absolutely darling i also got this really fun pocket uh, envelope die and i found the perfect um, item to fit into this pocket so it also does come with sentiments but I did not use these this one says moments this says enjoy this says the little what does this say it's the little oh this says thank you so the I guess it's the little enjoy the little moments and then this is thank you so a fun little set and I also wanted to show you if you did not know in love arts has um charms as well and I picked up this gorgeous Alice in Wonderland ish kind of set they are absolutely darling little charms and this is the whole alphabet so I figured if I ever needed a charm for a project for I love customizing for whoever I do swap with um, I just think it makes it a little bit more personal and look how cute that little n is so they all have a very whimsical feel to them there's um little butterflies little mushrooms and i thought this was a darling little set that you get and you get one of each letter so it really just kind of makes it perfect i'm trying to look for the a and see if I, I likely keep the A for myself, um, but look how darling that is. The little butterfly and a flower. So lovely little set of charms. And now I'm gonna show you the little projects that I've made. Um, these are the little envelope dies. Now the, it has a built-in little flap so it does close on its own. Here's that flower. So now I want to show you this flower is absolutely darling. So I just took a whole bunch of my scraps and I just cut out and made a fluffy flower. Now there are people that are just super skilled with making flowers but I did my best and I love how this came out. I did go around this with um some polymer clay slices and these are some floral pieces from buttons galore more and i added some bling on the little tab so you can kind of see it doesn't it does blend in so it just pops open like this and you can just open this up i did glue it but look how perfectly a standard memory dex fits into this pocket you guys so so excited to see that this fit in so now if you wanted to send a undecorated memory dex you can't put a bulky memory dex in even if you made a flat one i'm pretty sure it could fit in this so a fun little set i just decorated this one uh, really just kind of simply i love this again fits in a perfectly nice memory decks and it is the perfect little md envelope so i love to, love this to have this in my stash now the big layering flowers in this this set here i did create a layout so this is probably my first kind of layout it's not a i didn't include a picture just because i did have a picture in mind but i'm waiting to print it and um, but this is for my Scrapaholics design team and um, they make the most beautiful chipboard pieces. Again, look how beautiful this is. But I wanted to make the, the 
um, use the flowers as a focal point. I should have used the three, but I really wanted it dimensional and fluffed up. So you can see that here. I just used different tones of blue. So I love how this came out. And just for um, the sake of just showing you, I did do a double layer of black and white on this one just to give it a little shadow effect. I cut it out in various different colors as well. And what I like to do is just to get a little curve, I put a, um, what do you call, one of those rolling tools right in the middle. So, and then just go around the side. Again, I love the white, but I do love that little black shadow. I think it just makes it a lot fun. And then just to wrap this up, I just want to show you some of the flowers I made. So I did use different color pinks. And I love just how beautiful these flowers are. They are, it's a really fun, fun little floral set. And I just cut them out in different colors. I just love layering them. They are a really darling set. And here are the leaves. I did cut them out in gold. So it just makes the perfect little flower. And I can't wait to use this on a project. And that is it for my In Love Arts project share for today. Thanks for watching. And it, I will leave all of the product information down below as well as my discount code. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.